right now, just a short time ago, the L.A. City Council voted 13 to 1 to boycott the state of Arizona. L.A. now becomes the largest city in the nation to do so in the wake of Arizona's new immigration law. KTLA's Lynette Romero joins us live from downtown L.A. with more. Lynette? That's right. Frank, uh, there was one dissenting vote, and that came from Greg Smith. Otherwise, it was 13 in favor of this boycott against Arizona. Now, we are not alone in this. The same thing is going on in San Diego, in Oakland, in San Francisco, in Austin, Texas. They're all doing the same thing. The backlash over Arizona's crackdown on illegal immigration went from protests in the streets to a proposal in L.A. City Council chambers today. If Arizona was a country, I would be absolutely terrified. City Council members voted to boycott Arizona to show opposition to the new law that makes it a crime for illegal immigrants to be in the state. The public comment was more than enthusiastic, but the biggest applause came for 75-year-old Ok Suk Yoon, a Korean immigrant. She recently went to Arizona on a bus to protest, but she says she had to pray about it. Should she go to church or to Arizona? I came to, I went to Arizona to support the immigrants there and that I am behind them and, and I stand with them in solidarity. Um, I believe that Jesus would have led this movement and I really asked the council members to make the right decisions. Critics say Arizona's law, which is scheduled to go into effect July 23rd, is racist, divisive, and if these boycotts prove successful, it will be a blow to Arizona's economy. Councilwoman Janice Hahn, who along with Councilman Ed Reyes co -op Authored the resolution says that although Los Angeles has about $56 million in business with Arizona, only about $8 million would likely be affected. But the hope is that the impact would be greater. Uh, we must say stop. Uh, this is a law that we think is wrong. It's going in the wrong direction. And I want us to be counted today as the uh, certainly the largest city in California, the second largest city in this country. Uh, and I'm asking all of us uh, to take a stand today against this law. I think it is <laughs> crucial that this great city take a stand and that we use our own tax dollars, use our discretion, and be able to manage our assets in a way that upholds the principles of this great country as Americans. Now, the city council will now look at what contracts specifically L.A. can legally revoke. They've got to really make sure that everything is done legally and will not be challenged. Also, whatever is approved, the mayor has to also support and also approve, give it the final approval, which he says already that he will do that. That's the latest here from downtown Los Angeles. Back to you guys in Hollywood. And, Lynette, so Councilman Greg Smith is the only one who voted against this. What, what is he saying, or has he said anything publicly yet? He did not talk publicly today. There were a lot of council members who took the mic and, and spoke for a long time, gave personal stories um, about their family history, about being immigrants themselves. He did not speak publicly at the city council meeting, although I am told by aides and other people that it's not a surprise that he voted against this. And, in fact, some other reporters tried to get comment from him after, and uh, he wanted them to talk to his aides. He didn't really want to talk about that. So certainly I think he might know that it's a little bit unpopular, certainly on the council and possibly in Los Angeles. So he didn't really talk about it yet. We'll see what happens later on in the day. All right. Well, that, thanks very much.